What's going on guys? So this is an orange Gundam. That has a big old claw with a pointy thing. And this is the first actual Master Grid Monday of Double October. Let's get to it. Guys, so here we go. We saw the unboxing last week of this guy, and of course, it is the MG GN 003 Gundam Curios. Well, almost we're kind of slightly cutting off the S, but I'll give them credit that they didn't cover most of the name. And yes, I've seen your comments, I do it because it's funny, and I do it because for some ungodly reason they feel the need to cover up the words with things. But either way, we have a great image of the Kidios right here doing its thing. My autofocus doesn't know what to do when my hands are going crazy. <laughs> Let me lock the focus. Okay, so it looks cool. We got claw action here. We got big beam happening here that's coming from Hello Teaser for the next one. Hmm. Hmm. Next year, please. And then down here, we have some Russian y looking space type suits. Please give us. Please, even more please than that. That's that's a given. Give us this, please. And actually, you can see. Let me see him a little bit more here. Let's go back to the autofocus. There we go. Really beautiful particle effects happening in all the directions. Explosions and things. Oh wait, we have a pink one up here. Look, I missed it. Look, hold on. There's a pink one. Sweet. The more I look around, it's like, uh, where's Waldo? And you got Bandai Spirits 2020 made in Japan. So, yes, this one will be on the best and worst list of the year. Class of 2020. So, coolness. All right, so we got obligatory rear and front shot of Curios right there in its normal Gundam mode. The complete product in the image has been painted. Yes. Gundam Curios. Curios. Kai Ryo. GN003. Gundam Curious is one of four Gundam belonging to Celestial Being, which can transform into a flight form from Mobile Suit Gundam 00, available from the MG lineup. Yes! Yes, it is. And what does it say there? Shoulder armor and nose lock in place to keep its flight form to enable stable displays. Enable stable. Okay. Rear view of flight form. That's actually kind of cool to do that. Transformation gimmicks that allow the settings, such as the wrist bending inward while holding the grip, have been recreated. Sure. <laughs> right. All right, so you got a joint going up and down. By the way, there's a bend in the box right there. That's just, it happened. Uh, body can do the things, and he can have arrows. He can be like, oh, flash dance. Then he can go, oh, jazzercise. And then the neck can go, oh, even though that's weird because it shows the head tilting back, and then here it shows the head tilting forward. That's really weird. Although, I will say, it has way more articulation in there than almost anything I've seen. And then you've got this part here, where the, apparently the shoulders can shimmy shimmy. That's a new one. And on this side, you got Master Grade. We know what that is. And you got BandaiHobby.net. We know what that is. And we've got all of the details and the names and the such. And really nice. Hey, don't look at me like that. Shit, don't look at me like that. Box almost got away from me. It says frame. That's where you have a half naked curious right there. And then you've got GN. Hold on. GN beam submachine guns. I don't know why I couldn't read that. I'll to... it's like that was hard. This is a grip on the GN beam. GN beam submachine gun can be attached or detached. It'd be funny if it could only be attached. It cannot be removed. It can only be attached. GN cables. So it's got the cool reflective bits that we're used to. Gin, gin shield stabby thing. Claw shield stabby thing. GN hand missile unit. Yay. Hand missile unit features in the series are also included. You can use handles or not. Wait, it's showing the handles not attached. What's... Why is he holding handles? They're not attached to anything. That's weird. GN vernier. Gin vernier. Ver move in conjunction with switches. Hmm. Okay. And you got GN drive, so if you have LEDs, you can totally do that. Unfortunately, I don't have any working ones, so sad face for me. There you got the Gundam and everything in the box. You got markings. Don't expect to see those. Sold separately. LED units. Yeah, I just mentioned that. Thanks. PS EVAC. What is EVAC? 
Anyone? Somebody help me out on that one. Read the instruction manual. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Mr. Box. Don't tell me how to live my life. Ages 15 and up. Hey, I'm right in the middle of that. And uh, no uh, yen cost there, but, you know, it's like 40 some odd dollars. Sure. Illustration by Morishita now Chica. Of course it is. JP patent pending. Yeah. New 00 MGs. Still upside down. Been a long time coming, huh? Seriously, though, I'm excited for the next one. I mean, not that I'm not excited for the one I just built. I'm more excited for cool things that should come. All right, let's get to it. Try not to knock stuff off the desk. Alright guys, so, turntable time. Alright, so, uh, the interesting thing is, I got Curios done in the span of a day. Like, just working on it from uh, morning till afternoon. And I enjoyed this build. Dynamis, I don't know if I enjoyed it as much. I know I like that Gundam. I think something about the you know, sniper rifle and then the uh, folding shields and all that garbage was more annoying. This one was actually enjoyable. I liked what it was doing, and it was kind of fun. And one thing you'll notice is that I have used orange panel liner on the orange parts. Could have gone with brown, or could have stuck with gray. But I went with orange, just to change it up. If you saw the image that I put on Instagram, and I said that I was finally busting out the very little used orange marker, this is why. But as it goes, 
it is a solid kit. It feels good in hand. Now some parts feel a little wonky because it's just kind of new how they function. So it's not that they're bad, it's that not used to it in comparison. And of course it is a transforming Gundam, which take it as you go. He's kind of a faceplant flyer, but not as egregious as other ones where it is basically you have a giant jet mode on your back. Uh, this one at least has some transformation gimmicks. And of course he's got all them knee wings happening. What you gonna do with all them knee wings there, Kyrios? Huh? Alright, so coming in close on the head. On the, there we go. Actually, I had him at the eye line, which is interesting. So, uh, very reflective eyes in there. And something interesting, instead of green, he has a silver or chrome camera which i find to be very interesting let's bring it in a little closer there so they're coming real close it doesn't know what to do okay so right about to there very nice uh part separation there with the different face parts stuff like that i gotta move the camera in it seems to like the light better so i'm just gonna stay back here uh very nice uh part separation here in the vents in the cheeks and then you got all of the stuff on the side there, you got some nice uh, translucent green pods on the side of the head. You've got the cool rainbow effect parts inside the side of the <coughs> sorry inside the side of the head. It's very very nice. I like it. it. Looks cool. And green camera sticker on the back of the head, right there. I'm trying to catch the light. <laughs> it's being difficult. All right, so very interesting as it has a ball joint here so it has a ball joint up here and then it has a hinge here but then it also has a hinge lower down so that's where the neck can come up and do things like that to where he can look up at the sky although i'm i'm getting some strange tension here and it's got to be yeah it so now he's back he was so, halfway to flight mode because i had to stick him in the box so that neck part was like that, so I've got it fixed now. He does have the little GN antennas right here. They do move, just be careful. You don't want to break those guys off. And you come down to the chest, you have the nice yellow vents there, color separation, and then super tight, so therefore you're going to see some uh, non-wiped away panel liner there. It is what it is. And then, yeah, super nice parts here. The chest opens up, like so. Very nice. I like that. And you got some nice up and down motion here, just like a normal GN core or GN frame, as it were. Really do dig that. Uh, he does have the cockpit hidden right in here. Kind of slide that open. And there's not a sitting lock on in there because, frankly, <clears throat> well, I'm pretty sure lock on wouldn't be in there as Alleluia is the pilot of Curios. As we discovered in the. Uh, Unboxing, it has a super tiny, super tiny, doubt it's the same scale lock-on for that. The shoulders here are really cool. I like this. I love the color separation. These are all things that I had to paint on the HG, so I'm super happy to have them all do the things. Uh, shoulder armor does tilt up, and you can get the entire arm to flop about on this big old hinge. Just be careful. And then your rotation joint for the whole shoulder is right there so it's all kind of thin just be careful what you're doing also the orange part on the back of the arm there just be wary also things that i did not have to paint because it has good color separation which is wonderful and then let's see where can we go for a high teacher like this you can eh, rotate there and then hi hi mari like that okay so it's interesting that he has bicep rotation that is here double jointed elbow which is really good i mean that's absurd and then you have the cool uh translucent rainbowy effect part there with some nubs it is what it is so all part of this is essentially the same you have your green translucent gems here for the gene condensers and sticker inside that that you know has all the uh information you need he has the plugs on the forearms for weapon purposes like you do and then the hands which is cool 
So the hands are just plugged into the wrist. He does have the extra wrist joint there. Then the actual wrist pivot in there. Rotation. Flip floppy in and out. I realize you couldn't see half of that. I'm sorry. Flip floppy in and out. And the thumb moves. But then you also get... Ah! His fingers rip off. Um, I don't have any of the other spare hands with me at the moment that aren't attached to other things. So just know he comes with an assortment of hands like everybody else, but you're only going to use like one or two depending on how you want to use this guy. Now the torso can tilt side to side like you do. Like, here's the crazy part. I'm not really in all of the light, but it seems like all of the shadow happens. You've got rotation, but good luck going all the way around with that backpack. What you gonna do with all that backpack, curious, huh? Uh, the joke's gonna get old, I know. It's fine. The front skirts are here. They're just mounted on these hinges. And there's a little bitty tab right there that can lock them in place for flight mode. Just be careful you don't have them locked in place when you're trying to articulate the legs or you're going to have some issues. So you got what is essentially universal joints at the hips. You can see it rotates right through there. And you can see like that number. And you get the nice reflective stuff happening. And then you do have drop down hips, which is interesting because it brought out this whole little thingy at the actual base of the crotch. Right there, so both hips go together, so it is what it is. And that will allow you to get a better course line than you could have before. Mind you, the knee wings are kind of an issue. Okay, come on. He doesn't have side skirts, so you would think you can get a decent Jean Claude. Just everything else is sort of in the way. Just just a bit wary of that. Okay, so once again, we get double jointed knee, but uh, butt skirt is in your way, but you got all the nice clearance for all these things. Come down to the ankle, and you got ankle guard does the thing. You've got a whole lot of movement here. I just realized I'm not, I'm looking at it, not the camera, so forgive me. And then you've got rotation that's up here, and then you've got ankle to pivot, which is down here. And toe pivot, which is part of transformation. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on with that thigh leg. And then I'm trying to figure this out. So I'm going to pull off the butt skirt real quick. Because it's meant to come off so that you can mount the uh, stand adapter. So the stand adapter will slide on to there. you got to pull this off to do that. Um, I'm not going to have them on a stand, at least not for now. As, well, I don't have one available. So, wow, he just doesn't look good there. Okay, so inside said butt skirt are hidden beam sabers, which are on little hinges. And you can... Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to unplug. <laughs> good lord. Look at that. It's like, they just wanted to do anything but be a beam saver. I don't want to be a beam saver today. And if you take one of two of the ginormous beam saver blades, you can just plug it into that, and there you go. So that's our nice little segue into the rest of the weapons and such. My, my concern was that the butt skirts don't want to unlock, but then... It, like so it does have a ball joint and it is just sort of tabbed in like so but I feel like even when that's attached it's not gonna function all that well but yeah there it goes okay so now with those slightly out of the way you can get a little more back leg action so to speak so you bring this back and I'm gonna tab that into there that was a scary sound but it is what it is so let's get let's get this guy kind of straightened up. He's he's looking a little messy. Dude, what? Because everything shifts around a a center root rotation point. It's like gotta get him straightened out somehow. It's awkward, but it works. Okay, so let's start out 
with his little GN rifle, little machine gun, beam machine gun thing. So this is pretty cool. Looks just like it did, you know, little twin barrels there. Uh, you get a translucent part, but then you also get a sticker to cover it, so that's good. Um, and you'll notice that there's a whole lot of nothing going on here. Also, uh, color separation, which is good. So what you need to do is take one of your removable handles, and this is one that has a trigger hand already attached to it because I was paying attention. And you want to hook it in. Sorry. Hook it in the back, then tab it in the front, like so. And we can come over here. Yoink that off. Always clearance your thumbs. And tab that in. Now this is kind of my preferred way. Also, be wary. The scope goes in and out and it will. Just know it. It does have a little flippy thingy on the back that's supposed to keep it from or it's supposed to allow you to move it, but it does what it wants to do most of the time. So very nicely done, little beam rifle friend. And then for the rest of his basic armament, let's bring out his Gian Shieldo. So, looks pretty cool. Obviously, this one's always super insectoid in design. Now, it does look slightly wonky, but it is what it is. There's a hinge right here, but it doesn't do you much good in this mode. It will attach to the form via this right here. And you come back to right here. And just plug it in like so. Yeah, I, I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on, do I have it? Oh, I had it flipped around. I forgot. My bad. I had it in a weird position before starting. I apologize. This is the correct orientation. So that wants to face down like that. But he does have the problem, of course, of it always being on the back of the arm, which is kind of annoying for posing purposes. So if you wanted it out to the side like that, sorry, you can't really do that. You can, however, do it like this. And let's pull it off for the time being and show off what all it do, because it's not just a shield. It is a cool claw thingy. And as you do the cool claw thingy, all of these parts separate like so. And you get this. I like the fact that it can extend. It does not twist. Do not twist it. For some reason, this little piece always slides off super easy. I don't know if that's meant to or if I need to glue that in place. Seems to be an, an issue. But this looks pretty cool. And like I said, you can tilt it out like that if you want to and he does have an additional piece for this which is this blade and i'm going to be honest i can't recall what you're supposed to do with the blade i think you i think you split this maybe not maybe it just plugs into the hole does that make sense does it just plug in right here Yeah, okay. So, it, that just plugs in there. I assume that you can leave that. Let's look. Can you leave that there? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, so you can leave that blade up under there. It's supposed to be, like, inside it or something. But that works. That works good. I like that. It's very nice. Plug it onto the back of the arm. Just like that. And that's just basic armaments. Like, that's just what you need to do the thing. Now, for his slightly different armament, you get, whoa, I knew I was going to do that. It's those dang knee wings. You do get the missile pods, um, and you do get two of them. I'm trying to remember which way was forward. They're essentially the same front and back, except in construction. Uh, I think these are the doors. Technically speaking. Now, these are mounted to these arm mounts. So they don't technically interfere with things. So you can just plug them on like so. And even with the shield on the arm, you can plug them on like so. Like the shield never really goes anywhere. It's part of the transformation and stuff. So that's that. And you do have a spare handle. So it was showing him 
using here let me just come on so it was showing it like this like he's just got the handles and shooting it like that i mean maybe that's what he was doing but i thought maybe there was a bridge thing now these are just pegged on like that and if you want to you can just do the same thing we did before so that's like that oh that once again makes me question do i have that facing the right way yeah that must have been the right way because otherwise it won't fit yeah so yeah that would have been this way yeah so he can hold the missiles that way but i think they just look better mounted to the form like so so that's pretty neat Let's get them kind of organized and then reattach the gun. <sighs> Got to keep pulling that thing up. So there we go. So now we need comparison to the guy from last year, our good friend, Dynamis, the green one. And something I don't think most of us would have realized, Curios is much taller, not just by the fins, but in general, taller than our uh, gunnery boy here. Look at that. That is a significant, significant difference in height. So he'd be stubby, yo. By the way, does anybody else really hope we get a new Exia based off this GM frame? With some better engineering in certain parts? And I'm not going to bring out any other ones, because realistically, because these two are now the only ones in this particular family, it makes sense to keep them together like this. So... Let's take a break and we'll come back for transformation. Okay, so for transformation, we want to go ahead and remove the gun from his hand, like so, and go ahead and remove the fingers. I'm going to take the fingers off in general. Uh, you don't. I don't think you technically need the hands. I know the box showed that you could do a thing, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to leave this on this arm so that he can do his own things later. I'm going to reposition the camera so we can see from a downward angle. Okay, so for the head, we want to bring it up, tilt it back like so, and we want the fin to come back and we also want the antenna thingies to drop and then we want to bring this up and there's a slot right through there and the whole head will kind of tuck up under it like so and then we're going to want to take the butt skirts go ahead and put those back where they belong Lay this flat as you can. Come up to the top of the shoulders here and flip these tabs out on both sides. And I'm going to rotate the arms to face inward, like so. And then we're going to bring these shoulders up and those are going to tab in right in there like so and like so and then we're going to bring the arms back down to the sides like that and then knock the shield off because that's part of the instruction i'm pretty sure it says make sure you knock the shield off and then you want to come to the back and you want to straighten these out just you know, keep them along the body. Nothing crazy. They're just mounted there. And then the wrists. Go ahead and turn the hands inward and flip the wrists in. Like so. Just to kind of keep everybody clean. Like I said, I don't think they tuck away or anything like that. What is happening right here? Okay. Something seems out of square. Okay, so 
those are all good. Leave that like that. The legs, you want to, hold on. let's look at it from the front. I think the hips are out of whack here. Hold on, straighten that out. <laughs> so that's what, that's what I'm going for right there. Okay, so for the legs, we want to rotate at the hips. I think we want to drop them down. Yeah, drop them down. Rotate at the hips. And make sure you don't hit everything back here. So, rotate. Kind of bring those down. We can bring the front skirts to there. Just tab those in so they're solid. Like that. I think that's pretty good. Maybe these are supposed to be loose because they're hitting everything. Okay, let's get this about as straight as we can. <laughs> everything I said, secure here, tuck in here, tighten up there, is just come loose. It's a transforming thing. It's going to be a problem. Okay, so we want the legs to come out and we want the thing to do there. So we need to make him bow-legged like so. I think that gives us the ability to fix those to the best of our abilities then the feet flip straight down flip down flip down and then the knee wings pull out and flip back they don't go that far so not, not too crazy pop out flip back Once again, those are just being weird. And then I guess these are... Oh, yeah, okay. I was trying to figure that out. They're like, yeah, push out these Jean Vernier things. So it's this little gray piece right here. Just You push that out, and that pops out. And essentially, I believe that is him in flight mode. Oh, wait, I think the feet have to be down. Yeah, the feet have to be like that way. I forgot. So feet, feet are like that. I knew something else was wonky, so that's good. And then you can take your shield, and you want to split it ever so much. And I think we want to remove the blade in this case. Reattach it. doesn't want to reattach I don't know if it's supposed to be that way but that's the way it's going so that's the shield you want it to go over and around the wing come on like so I think that is how we want him. At least about as good as he's gonna get. I mean, I think the legs might could stand to be back just a little. No, what's going on there? Why is that uneven? I guess it's just the skirts are wonky. I guess if these are, if you straighten out the arms, but I think the arms are supposed to be tucked in as good as you can get them, like that. So that's him essentially in flight mode, and you can see he's got this big fake translucent cockpit section there. Oh, I forgot to flip these up, so I flip up the new GN antennas. Got the, this thing here, it's normally whatever. It's got some really nice molded detail underneath. Mind you, this is not the cockpit section, it's just the sensor section. And there's a lot of cool stuff underneath it. Looks good. You got the GN drive here. Yes, he does not use a standard like cone situation. Obviously, you can open this up and pull the GN drive out if you want to, but you don't have to by any means. So yeah, that's just closing down over that. That's fine. And I know this probably isn't 100%, but it's at least pretty much it, you know. I don't think there's a whole lot of difference. Um... Oh, I thought I had the HG out to look at. I did not. 
<laughs> Good job, me. And once again, if you have the stand in place, it would be back here. And you would just plug them onto a normal MG stand. But if you don't have that by any means, you can, in fact, put them in like a landing mode. You flip the toes down. And you extend this guy. Oop, that wasn't supposed to come off. Will you peg back on, please? Like, you were just on there. Why, why are you being difficult? Okay, and you just land him. It's so dorkalicious. It's kind of wonderful. So just like so. So he sort of can just lay flat. Maybe that's how he land, stays on the dock. If he's going to launch in flight mode. So that's pretty neat. Take it. I'm going to take a picture. So, as it goes, Curios is really cool. And, like I said, I don't know that I have it 100%. I'm still questioning the shield thingy, but with the way the legs lined up, I'm pretty sure that's probably right. Um, so, there's that. Um, and, like I said, as flight modes go, he feels better than most. The fact that you can just do this with the legs instead of with the HG, where you have to replace the entire hips and all that, uh, which is super annoying. You know, it is what it is. I digs it. Though, the only thing that might suck is I don't know if you can get out of the cockpit when he's in flight mode. Because cockpit is, you know, down here. It would be facing downward at the ground. Um, so i got to wonder if it changes position when he goes into flight mode or anything like that. That would be an interesting thing to know because I can't recall. But this is a good one. I'm glad they finally gave us an MG version of this. It is definitely, definitely worth it this is a super cool gundam guys and yeah i definitely definitely recommend this um i guess it just depending on what you want to do with your collection you might want it in flight mode you can always you know hold it up it's pretty solid just making sure everybody's tabbed in where it needs to go is going to be the hard part other than that it's actually really well done you even get a landing mode so to speak and if you got spare MG stands laying around. I'm sure it'll look fantastic on that. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm more interested in MG Arios and an MG Gian Archer just personally because those I find to be significantly cooler as celestial being mobile suits go. So, that's going to be it. There wasn't anything that was particularly difficult about it, uh, except for the filming. <laughs> and like I said, it was enjoyable. Oh, I did forget. My bad. Hold on. I'm not done. I forgot the whole reason I left. I left that there was so that you can plug the gun on so he can fly around and shoot things as well. Sorry, I forgot about that. Either way, uh, the build was actually really enjoyable. I liked it. I thought it was really fun. And especially after building a bunch of HGs and SDs, this really brought some happiness to my minute. So. I digs it. But guys, make sure you do the like and subscribe thing and come back next time because we have another Master Grade this year. That's right. And uh, yeah, uh, check out the merch, do all the other things, become a Patroneer if you want to see everything early. The Patroneers got to see every build as they were coming together and stuff like that. So if you really wanted a heads up on that, well, you're too late for this year. But I'll see you guys next time. Remember, as always, keep on building.